So finally, all set, mic set, camera set, camera Every set, thing, yeah. camera set. This almost took us like two days. Mic set. Like. Uh, and two months, nahi, yaar. Eight, two days, I said, not two months. Eight obviously. months, we are preparing. Two months, we can make a movie. Just eight months, I am coming from the sky, here, rose, rose, rain, just to fix some lights and some paintings. Yeah. Some things were falling. And और ये सही चीज है हां दिस इज द लाइन दिस इज रियली कंफर्टेबल नो दो आर चेयर्स आर नॉट दैट यू नो कंफी चलो बात करते हैं एंड लाइक आई थिंक आई शुडंट गेट दोस बिग चेयर्स लाइक आई हैव इन माय हाउस ऑफिस सॉर्ट ऑफ चेयर्स दिस वाज दिस चेयर वाज अनकंफर्टेबल बट दिस दिस मेक्स इट मोर यू नो दिस इज वेरी कंफर्टेबल नाउ एंड So, yeah. yeah, laptop is ठीक लग रहा है so, yeah, we'll yeah, this is my thing, my best, my <laughs> which I use all the times. वो तो बच्चे क्या बोलते हैं? What what is this called in you know your language like in Kashmir Kashmiri? Bust. 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 What did he say? Bust नहीं bust. Bust. It's an animal. It's called. छावल को बेडू बोलते छावल छोटा छोटा भेड़ू था एंड आई यू नो आई डिट दाल ऑफ इट सो दैट इज आई कैप दिन ऑफ इट लाइक इट वॉज माई फर्स्ट सॉरी टाइम्स हेलो अस्सलाम वालेकुम माय नेम इज तफज मुतु एंड अलोंग विद मी इज आई एम मोहम्मद हुसैन आजम एंड वी आर गोइंग टू डू अ सीरीज ऑफ पॉडकास्ट व्हिच वुड बी यू नो पार्टेड इन डिफरेंट एपिसोड्स एंड Uh, yeah we're going to touch uh, different uh, topics, topics and yeah i think hmm. so so yeah we were you know we, we were, were discussing on... yeah we were discussing uh, about uh, modern art yes what's modern art simple what's modern art <laughs> modern art is past hmm is maybe 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 hmm. this no this 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 you know this one like this and you know things this is modern uh. maybe maybe i hope this was at that time and there could have been a modern art Lekin version jo jo bhi kuch samajh nahi aata matlab bas dekhne se yo i don't understand this barcode maybe it's modern art maybe it's modern art. <laughs> by this i mean you know like the thing which i was uh, you know i was yesterday watching a documentary okay. theek hai <coughs> usme ek art gallery hoti hai mm-hmm. to pata nahi wo critique hoti hai kya uh, curator yeah. hoti hai matlab shayad wo ye jo na paint are, le you know, jo collect she was a collector ha okay to ab chalti hai this is shit paintings hoti hai this is oh. shit this is shit this is shit this mm-hmm. is shit yeah this is so good yo wo pata kya hota hai या एयर कंडीशनर रखा होता है उसको लग रहा था मतलब ये पता नहीं है स्कल्पचर दिस दिस इज वेरी गुड या सो मतलब बहुत सारे बोलते हैं दिस इज गुड माय शॉट्स आर गुड दिस इज नॉट आर्ट दिस इज आर्ट इज आर्ट नॉट आर्ट मतलब ऐसे ही मतलब बहुत सारी चीजें उसमें आ जाती है लाइक इज आर्ट आर्ट दैट इज व्हाट व्हाट्स योर टेक ऑन दैट लाइक माय टेक इज Let's see. Take on it modern. is art and it is not art, or maybe it is both, or maybe it's none, or so, it is art or not art. The same thing that the lady said in the gallery or in the documentary, and that is the question, you know, which, ah, uh, which the surrounding guys, you know, try not to speak like these words, gets ah uh, really dangerous in the uh, the post processing in your mind, like when you think about it. Hmm. This affects your ah. Uh, you know the rational thinking about certain topic that is what we so use the word art theek and that uh, you know uh, that change and that drama the contrast the red and green uh-huh. which gets uh, you know cognited by such questions hmm. gets you on to either two different things 
and one thing can be a drastic change in perception really common like this thing mm. Mm. you know but when you think about it, it goes really far mm. and that is how modern art came you know by certain avant-garde artists who worked mm. in particular certain philosophy of their own Thik. which made uh, you know way for not mm. way it didn't made way for certain things but the thing is they made a way okay, for their see, own thing i have a little bit uh, history about this like how it started first i want to clear uh, is modern art same as contemporary art no 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 how how are they you know doing? modern at the time was contemporary <laughs> contemporary <laughs> is current current art you know contemporary can be but plural current art is modern art no not really modern art now is fixed like not right now in 2000 huh. 2000s and you know this time hmm. now we majorly think of modern art as the thing which started uh, you know in 1900s and so that period that uh, reign we have said that hmm. uh, the time and considered it as so such. tab jo start ho gaya we yeah. called it modern art yeah now we call it okay pomo like post modern post modern period like Thik. after modern and contem- which is which is contemporary post modern is contemporary yeah. now because, contemporary because means current right is, now huh. like when uh, it was like 1700s or 1600s or like when people painted on the walls of caves hmm. that was contemporary for that particular, particular point of time, time and time. that could have been turned contemporary that could have been said art of contemporary time by those neanderthals or <laughs> humans or okay you know so basically it is a process it was not like ye achanak se ho gaya yeah. as i remember i watched the uh, uh, but that this, achanak was kind of bit achanak that, considering that was, history yeah, and the I, time I, I, i will tell you the yeah. reason for that uh, there was this um, show genius mm-hmm. usme pehla jo season tha usme picasso ko hi unhone yeah. ye laya tha matlab mm-hmm. uski story thi okay to her girlfriend or mistress you can call uh, she was a photographer ठीक है डोरा मेज जिसकी बहुत सारी पेंटिंग्स बनाई है ठीक है ही ही पेंटेड लॉट्स ऑफ फोटोज तो व्हेन ही वाज लाइक डूइंग आर्ट और कमीशंस सो ही सेड कि नाउ फोटोग्राफी इज सो एडवांस्ड वी डोंट नीड टू पेंट एग्जैक्टली द सेम थिंग ठीक है बिकॉज़ वी हैव नाउ फोटोग्राफ्स व्हाई डोंट वी जस्ट चेंज इट व्हाई डोंट वी जस्ट पेंट व्हाट वी फील और यू नो व्हाटएवर चेंज द पर्सपेक्टिव्स Uh, mold the like shapes art, change uh, the anatomy intervene into okay. you know the regular so that mode. time there was uh, matisse mm-hmm. modigliani uh, picasso tafazzul matu mm-hmm. i hope you were there at that time aur kon tha aur bhi tha koi ha there were many polak bhi shayad usi uh, no 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 polak 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 bhi usi time pe tha no 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 it's like 30 40 years back like 20 30 years back in 1970s or so polak he was this abstract expression i will check it out lekin mujhe pata hai wo bhi tab tha no there was some other named from which started from the word p you must be confused on to that and polak was check that yeah <laughs> yeah polak was uh, you know the where so it was deliberate yeah, it was not a process uh-huh. they did it deliberately yeah, okay certainly. but my uh, concern is they started with realism so to not okay they individualism ha huh. they okay. started with realism they didn't yeah. distorted they didn't start making art by making distorted figures mm-hmm. they started uh, matlab uh, painting realism painting traditionally isko hum bol sakte hain mm-hmm. they started painting traditionally mm-hmm. when they said ki now we have photos now you know we don't need that mm-hmm. stuff like that they started to distort things and those paintings were um, <clears throat> inspired from those african masks Uh, the matisse had because these matisse matisse had those and matlab unhone fir wahi se wo start kiya theek hai so yeah um so the thing is uh these things you as you said hmm. had a deliberate force hmm. and it was photograph yeah photograph, photograph yeah. and this technology and intervention of certain new uh, medium hmm. made you know uh that made that push for a change in the history of art and though art has been changing all the time but that is considered one of the major changes mm-hmm. and like there you know there were more <coughs> factors if we'll see mm. like uh you know uh industrial uh factors uh you know um changes in the society changes 
नॉट इन जस्ट दे डिडेंट एक्सेप्ट दैट दैट टाइम लाइक उन्होंने मतलब वो एक्सेप्ट नहीं किया था जो उनका जो आर्ट था दैट वाज नॉट अप्रिशिएटेड उसमें थोड़ा टाइम लगा अप्रिशिएट करने में व्हेन यू टॉक अबाउट एवन गार्ड यू नो फर्स्ट आई विल कम टू द हाउ इट स्टार्टेड एवन गार्ड इज अ बिट पोस्ट टॉपिक एंड फर्स्ट दे एक्सक्लूडेड द लेबर यू नो लेबर फैक्टर लेबर वेरिएबल फ्रॉम देयर practices the and that i was reading uh, a couple months before it's called yeah uh, thing is called hedonism mm. you know where you work um, to get the maximum utility without that much physical force and that much you know it goes mm. like you know you work in a very free way in a very okay uh, n- you know Very okay matlab i have the creation suppose uh, i have heard about some artist i don't know agar wo same hai nahi he used to imagine few things yeah. and he used to matlab kuch painters ko badata tha and used to guide them ki aise 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 ye karna hai so he called that piece of work his own yeah. not the people yeah, created have, it have so work. he avoided the hard work matlab. yeah that that yeah, is a really good craft. example there there are yeah. several mural artists in the contemporary time they uh sold their artwork hmm. they sold just the process of the artwork and i'm not talking about painters like polo like there is a mural artist he uh does he has uh, you know uh, made a blueprint of every color every well, you know idea he sells yeah he idea. sells his process he sells his you know hmm. concept or uh, hmm. uh, the non tangible part of thinking you know thinking is so not is it important to get it out For example, like I have few paintings in mm-hmm. my head. Okay. ठीक है. I have yeah. my gallery in my head. Yeah. Is yeah, it important for me to get it out? Do I have to be that good to paint it exactly as I imagined? Is Up that you? You can call a good artist. Like a, when I paint, you know, I have some things in my head, or when I perform, or when I do any sort of. Is thing. it different? Obviously, it always going to be different. But there are few uh, painters who say ki. canvas tells you what to do you know yeah, it can it can be possible possibly if we talk about like painting you just do it yeah that is a sort of you know i divide it into like when i paint hmm. i sometimes <clears throat> have some things in my mind some colors hmm. like uh this work i had i this is a part of series okay. so obviously series is a continuous thing and i hmm. had certain you know certain um you know elements which i knew and certain the narrative and everything is already there hmm. so i have uh, you know the uh, pre planned stuff and okay. sometimes i go like uh, in the present time you know the present tense hmm. you go like i have a canvas and i'll hmm. start hmm. and the post effect would f be affected by you know uh, the in thing hmm. you know the ongoing thing hmm. and there was nothing hmm. before that particular white background you know that mm-hmm. white uh, plane and the third can be post you know? okay so i have this question for you you started with realism yeah why 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 do we have to start with realism can't we just go modern it's not necessary obviously you can is it necessary modern. you know do we have to know the rules do we have to know the rules for composition do no, we have like to know the rules you need for to know like there are some rules i'm yeah. not saying there aren't any or uh, i don't see, follow any but there are rules can be of two uh no, some say there are no rules only tools <laughs> <laughs> yeah you need to know the tools and you need yeah. to create your rules for certain uh, act, certain uh-huh. belief you create for your own uh-huh. self uh-huh. so uh yeah and the rules can be of two sorts like one is your individual sort of uh, appeal and thinking hmm. secondly can be the uh, acceptance of that post structural post structural sort of thing hmm. where you think about the society and the rules and you know hmm. the effect the post effect of any sort of work you know hmm. when you do a work or the process even like uh, there are some exceptional works and you think about the post structure of it you know that is actually one uh, factor of how to uh, you know the process of uh, so the, like criticism. getting used to your tools uh, mm-hmm. realism is the best way to start yeah, if you are getting started yeah you that like, makes suppose you suppose i am i i came the thing to you, is, okay uh, i want to 
paint something i want to be a good painter mm-hmm. would you suggest first try realism then no i would suggest then do whatever you want i would suggest you just uh do you know either the best you know the proper the rational the uh natural mm-hmm. way is to Hmm. get to know the tool you know see you know? our culture is shifted in a way see we have hmm. photographs now films yeah. animations theek hai so realism feels a bit boring yeah it's boring it goes anti hedonism which i was talking about huh. it involves lots of labor and it, another it thing it feels bit boring like ha ye matlab photos bhi to hai aise hi dekha hai na other thing is like when you go on to this side you know in front of easel or in front of your camera hmm. or on a stage hmm. you know the first easiest thing to uh, do or perform or to you know to indulge into is the thing which is closest to you hmm. and that close thing is obviously the reality around you so that yeah. is why when you pick a paint brush you first uh, try to go to the thing you know best like you know trees you know mountains you know human hmm. face Hmm. you are used to seeing them every day hmm. and the most you know beautiful thing is that uh, the delicacy of uh, your okay. own self okay. and okay. that is why artists go on painting self portraits portraits when they start okay so see you said uh, matlab paint the uh, trees uh, mountains so realism is best way to you know observe and get used to those forms yeah. and then only you can mold them so yeah. it comes back to that point uh, you know uh the picasso's quote the famous quote mm-hmm. master the rules so that you can break them i don't know if it's still <laughs> applicable in contemporary no, it is not. obviously it is. it is it is in a, in a way it is and unless you don't know the anatomy unless you don't know how a mountain looks you can't mold it or distort it do you know that i look like this <laughs> hmm I look like this. This I don't know if it's visible in the camera. You know, this is me. Yeah, I know it's you. Yeah. Do you like me? This in this form? Inequality. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's like old. I wanted this. This mirror, mm-hmm. like this has. So, you had a different work. We can show it. Like which work? Yeah, the work you want. You can talk about uh-huh. it. it might be on the screen theek <laughs> hai okay. yeah so in this painting jisme aapne wo syringe liya it has your character really yeah so this is what we aim for we aim for the character rather mm. than uh, the actual form talking about character i created a work which had fish are uh, drawn onto very large canvases Hmm. and that thing started from this you know this, <coughs> this. Uh, you just hindi aati hai what, what is it like machli palan yeah. machli ko kaise palte hain uh, I'll, i'll read some bits you know i'll read some <laughs> prachin is itihas hamare desh mein prachinatam vaidik kal se machli palan ki prachalan raha hai you know we have had been in habit the tribe the society to uh, you know hmm. uh, to um have fish is like my uncle is there he last year had a fish farm like in his front yard so fish is all like really and you know my mother she has been living in uh, west bengal and so india has been you know really connected with fishes so talking about the thing I had a work where uh there are four fishes hmm. and I made every family member we are four members in our family I made everybody do one of the fishes on one hmm. canvas hmm. so and see this is this is what I was talking about see you had you had a story yeah. behind that painting theek okay. hai now i am a weaver i don't know that story do i have to know that story behind that painting because no, not... people say i don't understand this mm-hmm. See, do they have to understand do they have see, to I'm create made, their own uh, interpretation or mm-hmm. do they need to you know uh, know the story behind this behind the process see uh, i saw uh, a show a art show pata nahi us ka tha wo shayad to mm-hmm. in which they like had a piece of uh, art sculpture or anything painting music photographs 
सो वेन इट वॉज डिस्प्लेड द जजेस वर ओके ठीक है हाँ हाँ ये तो वट्स योर प्रोसेस सो बेस्ड ऑन द प्रोसेस दे समाइम्स लाइक रैंक दम अप और डाउन जस्ट बेस्ड ऑन द प्रोसेस वट वॉज योर प्रोसेस एंड थिंकिंग बिहाइंड दिस ठीक है so is the story important behind an artwork because we have seen so many artworks where story is so important and the value of that uh, artwork gets so like huge for example mona lisa was stolen yeah okay and that still made it more famous and it made it more famous so now we have a story behind it a oh, little story a narration is a necessary part of it if the uh, space would not be narrative uh, it would have been all black maybe like all void so this everything is story there based. was this one painting which was sold for 15 million in 1961 it was just blank blank canvas blank canvas with some textured white with, huh. yeah there have been such things we were discussing about that work you know the work by klein the best blue Huh. You know, I I was telling you about that. I was on a run to discover that thing. Like, what can be can be the best blue? Hmm. Like, there are lots of blues and lots of controversies on that particular pigment, that particular hue. Like, there has never been a cooler blue, and there has never been a warmer blue. Okay. Do you think blue can be warm? Like on the color wheel, but still, it's blue, and blue is always cool. So uh, such questions and more depends. complex <laughs> things obviously it depends. depends and you know and later i found that clean has already had his thing on to it you know and okay so there was we'll, one more thing we'll that, continue yeah. to talk about it we should get some tea i guess yeah it's really yeah rainy rainy and i'm feeling yeah and my mother is calling as well like just we should you know. get some tea yeah. i will pause this for now yeah i think we should cut the video yo okay hamari chai bhi aa gayi you know like i make the best tea theek <laughs> you, you must uh, agree to it like ha theek hai yeah it's good like kahan the aap Uh, uh, we were talking about modern art, contemporary art. Modern, contemporary. So, what do you want to talk about? It's the point of things. I think we were like talking about that. Um, you know, the judging of works. <laughs> 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 like, uh, like I'm really gonna lie. <laughs> like, this is the most. Comforting thing. Wait, I'll. I'll what happened? No worries. Don't panic. Don't <laughs> panic, guys. <laughs> this happens. This happens in a professional. Scene. Don't panic, guys. Guys. This this happens. This is natural. This is realism. This is realism. So, how would you rate my tea? That's good. That's my result. दस में से सात दस में से सात आई वुड बी लाइक दस में से यू नो या सो नाउ लेट्स टॉक अबाउट द टेक्नोलॉजी द रोल ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी इन आवर बेज आर्ट दिस दिस इज द रोल ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी दिस इज द रोल ऑफ इन द आर्ट वर्ल्ड व्हाट वी आर डूइंग इज व्हाट वी आर डूइंग इज इट आर्ट इज इट एन आर्ट फॉर्म It is an art form. The most critic won't agree to it, but it can be related to theater, drama, you know, stage, animation, animation, movies, editing, movies. digital involvement, filmmaking, <laughs> opera. If, I think if that, you can that, involve that into yeah, I think that's what <laughs> that that was the technology was the uh, you can say inventor of modern art. That's a good yeah, we can we can say that because that is what uh, shifted it somehow. 
to modern art or contemporary art yeah. in the art we have. So let's 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 try to predict what will be uh, what will be the future contemporary art. <laughs> you, me. <laughs> will it still be painting? Will it go all digital? Because now digital art is taking over. No, we have, how like, do you say digital is still? We have like uh, digital is more there. digital artists now than a traditional artists. Yeah, we have. If we and talk about regular practices in art, we have more digital painters as compared to academic painters, hmm. and uh, like everything, you know, uh, one of the most common contemporary trend in art is documentation, hmm. uh, like this sort of documentation or any other sort of documentation. Hmm. And uh, the what technology did was it took art, you know, from gallery viewing space to everybody. Now you can visualize works sitting mm-hmm. at home. And if you take the monetary aspect as well, uh, why are you so want, into monetary? Aspect, like because like fifty millions and people you know, are going. Uh, some art. people are going into art just to yeah. earn. They yeah. want to make their career out of art for posts. Huh. You call it post paisa. <laughs> paisa. So, so, in this age, you have to go digital. You should know digital art. Even if you are a traditional artist, you have to be good with uh, digital art as well. If you want to go into the mainstream art or more commercial art. Yeah, if you want to get into... Because see, now things have stuff. changed uh, because of the COVID as well. There are online gatherings now. The, uh, there were the but gallery. there are more now yeah and to see an artwork for example you have to go to a certain place you have to go to a museum you have to invest some time to check some artworks to check some uh, sculptures paintings so you have to make an effort in yes. doing so but digital uh, art or you can say the technology has changed it up that you can now view those paintings with your phone mm-hmm. So, is it same, uh, does it give the same feeling like you see a painting in front of you and see a painting on your laptops no. or on your mobile phones? It's obviously different. How? Huh. One is, you know, uh, put up in a very, through a different medium, you know? Mm. When you are mm. <laughs> in front of an artwork live, there mm. is no medium between you guys. You are the medium itself when you view the work, or when you observe, mm. or feel, or listen mm. the work. Mm. But when you involve uh, this digital data uh, networking, so we are here talking about the yeah, paintings that becomes the medium and the sculptures. What about music? What about dance? Is it mm. different to go to a concert or listen? What from um, the phone? in contemporary this these things mm. made it more accessible, which we already already said, and that is the reason. Uh, uh, that made art more consumable and now everybody listens most of the people are connected to art on a regular basis hmm. like you listen to music and you see animations design film hmm. you know all sorts of arts and so that made hmm. even more artists and more art consumers so, you know, they say like history rhymes after 100 years. Okay. So, uh, if we talk about what is the future of art, what is the future of painting, dance, like, kya naya ho sakta hai? Is it, has it come to a saturation point that we will start to repeat the same thing but in a different form? No. We are doing uh, the same thing since the beginning of the time, I guess. We are taking the old stuff and give it a new form with technology or anything and try to present it as new. See, if you are talking about the modern art, we have to use the same paints, we have to use those same brushes, same canvas, but the thing you put on it is different. See, if we um, state your statement again, uh, the question you posed Mm. is already a posed question in history. And that question, the answer will continue to live on. Mm. Like this question was posed, uh, is still being posed. Mm. There was this thing. Um, 
the answer was you know creation of a work like every work has has having his own its own mm. uh, individualism mm. you know so in contemporary every work created is mostly a new work is a new okay so we did work. talk about this before i guess there is nothing like good art or bad art there is boring there art or interesting art how how there can be good art and bad art is it I subjective there can be two things subjectivity or an objective sense to it hmm. you know if we take the objective factor we'll look it up uh, in a you know social context in a mass hmm. uh, context Okay. and when we talk about subjectivity it so comes in object under, we talk about the signs yeah it comes under the realm of you know high art okay. you know against mm-hmm. unlike mass culture like this sweater mm-hmm. i when i was small bachpan mein mm-hmm. i didn't like wearing sweaters but now growing up uh, my taste okay. has been changed and maybe in future i might not wear something this colorful or same things goes with yeah. like fashion style yeah, fashion. Right. Mm. then Alejo. there is again a separate bell bottom pants yep. are all like that. but still still it tried to come back but <laughs> it is back actually bell bottom pants like white pants are again getting hmm. into contemporary and you know then there is again a line between trend and art how trend passes and no, there is a, there is an artist Caesar Santos, जान दे होगे आप उसको। Yes. He paints like old masters. ठीक है। So when he was in art school, he was told that you don't need to do this now. So he was like, you are no one to tell me what I should do or not. This is completely ironic and opposite mm-hmm. of you saying that you don't need to do this. Like you are free now. You can do anything. so he said i want to do this i want to paint like old master so you can't tell me that you can't do this now you don't have to do this mm. that is what uh, most institution contemporary go like you know mm. they want you to turn home okay so if you see it's again like not bad not good can be bad it can be good can is it boring and can interesting can be amusing same thing i can it's subject to it's like what like how would you put your subject to terms on it some like it some don't okay what about you that is an objective statement about some about all what about the first will mat to liking or not liking the I like old masters okay so you want i like uh, the, the draftsmanship i like the the you know the detail and stuff the ongoing and that uh-huh. continuous spontaneous utility yeah, i like this as well but i uh, like that more you know the calm and you know the mood the flow yeah ye mujhe bahut maza isme bhi maza hai but everything is maza like as a as a consumer if i can say i i'll prefer both but mm. if i want to paint or draw i'll pay or like, produce you would produce i would produce like old masters yeah. i'll prefer old masters you are an old master for me uh, how old are you by the way <laughs> like i have asked you so many times this question you know how old i am <laughs> so that. like i am out of team i turned 20 hey, mubarak 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 to me as well <laughs> and so yeah so you were talking about technology and its intervention in mm-hmm. we should talk about like how it has got into and in the thing i was talking into see what i feel sometimes i sometimes feel that we are not evolved to see this drastic change that we have now mm-hmm. with the technology so we don't know what's going to work and what's not going to work for example let's take that example of banana art ठीक है बनाना दैट टट इट ऑन द बोल हां द पीपल वर इन शॉक बट इट वर्क्ड इट वर्क नथिंग वर्क एक्चुअली नॉट वर्किंग मेड इट वर्क यू नो दैट मेड इट वर्क एब्सर्डिटी मेड इट वर्क दैट नॉट मेड इट यस 
it's confusing to me as well that's what i'm saying we are not evolved to see this drastic change so we don't know what's going to sell what's not going to sell what's interesting now what's not interesting now so in that sense i think it is you now know, subjective what's interesting and it's cultural as well interesting is new in contemporary mm. you know interesting is new it's a phrase among critics that interesting is new and nothing new carries where mera kaha se matlab kya naya kitna naya you work you work for that new and that makes you even god Hmm. It's a bit of a critical statement to say. And okay, I said I would going to post. Let's hold that thing. new thought there. Okay. okay. For example, <laughs> then I think we should get get back in eighteen hundreds. Uh-huh. <laughs> I will bring something very old today. Will that be new? If we haven't seen that old stuff before, it is going to be new, new to our eyes, isn't it? So. you bring a bone of uh, uh, an egg of a dinosaur from a species we never knew about it's modern it's contemporary yeah. <laughs> this is what i'm saying <laughs> ki history when history repeats or rhymes rhyme is more kya bolte hain usko kya appropriate okay. history rhymes because yeah. rhyming mein words change hote hain cheeze change hote hain it doesn't it repeat Like exactly it rhymes it can so when we bring something old back with some modifications we call it new it's a uh, new 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 you know new or new 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 mm, new sort of new <laughs> old you <or> new <laughs> yes and old you new is something new old new 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 <laughs> so So yeah, and there have been works like now artists are using like one of the uh, like intervention of lights. These lights mm. have always been in artwork. There are parts. setups which are yeah. based on pure technology. Yeah, they have been, and now several artists like um, create performances and you know uh, create installations, painting, mm. like paintings with sound, paintings with another sort of vibe. they have been paintings using screens and digital medium mm. through which you can interact with that sort of data mm. there is an art work by some artist uh, which has all the you know uh, the algorithms and the data and every bit of thing of tedx you know tedx mm. like every bit of uh, talk and everything mm. and that creates a sort of map a sort of abstract shapes and you know mm. uh, a thing mm. and there is there are works using printer there are works using lights screens mm. and then there is camera like photography and you know lots of crazy things mm. as new as the word technology like technology never is when you use the word technology it's mm. current and you know to the point to the mm. date mm. and we spoke about technology and after an hour it's already outdated but there are some art forms which remain pure throughout yeah. this these changes yeah certain uh, got extinct to a certain extent mm. and uh, there are artists right now who are you know practicing uh, those type of art forms from antiquity to the date and like painters who paint figurative cubist approach you know mm. <laughs> and there are uh those who are into impressionism and there are those who are into uh contemporary performances mm. in theater then you know film making you know installation there are painters who paint in a very classical way mm. that like Caesar Sanders yeah Caesar if we talk about our space kashmir like we have all sorts of painters and artists mm. many sorts of mm. i i would say like in our kashmir some like cultural art it hasn't changed that much like wood carving for example it has remained the same how would it be changed and i hope we, it doesn't change we use the same that. tools <laughs> like the uh, same process same design like wo shawl wall mein thodi si change is i there must be new technology like, like machine wo yeah. but you you are talking about the formal side of the change uh, you know uh, the physical uh, the tools the uh, materials uh, yeah. the result is the same the result would be the same you process is different mm-hmm. result is not that same but there have been works like you know paper mache everybody know about it 
Uh-huh. There have been contemporary artists who uh-huh. have intervened that thing to their, uh, you know, into their works. Uh-huh. Such intervention create new possibilities uh, from those kind of post works, and that possibilities create new, you know, new product, new, uh, new uh, thing, new force in the society. And such effects, such anti-stuff, goes along in you know that general norm, uh, you know that radical stuff. You know when you go anti, when artists go anti, mm. right? Artists going anti paper mache. Mm. That was an anti work. That was uh, you know a reform, mm. and later it goes mainstream. So that is how art changes. You know. Changes the culture, changes the already existing forces. See, see, there are, see, it is an art form, wood carving, but we don't see like uh, philosophy in that, like we see in uh, poetry, we see in uh, paintings, we see in music. These are like uh, just to, you know, for aesthetic purpose. Okay, otherwise, we don't. Why would we need uh, to, you know? make these artworks on the carpet functionality to usme to koi difference nahi aayegi so this is for aesthetic purpose so don't you think aesthetic is a whole load of philosophy hmm? aesthetics like you're talking about it yeah it is like the traditional art but if i see this for example this carpet yeah. okay it's this is around 30 40 50 years old kashmiri okay this is pleasing yeah uh-huh. but is it for uh, decorative stuff or is it functional? It is functionally very subconscious way. But there are like carpets. You you are in carpet business. Yeah. Okay. What what if we have no designs or on like carpets? Will they sell? Leave selling apart. You know. If we, selling is like people know, like it, uh, so they sell it. If we consider they buy you know, it. If our machines, carpet manufacturing machines, huh. don't produce design. Mm. then obviously it would sell because there is no more possibility a possibility of creating design so that is the general norm of carpets that they are flat and you know just one thing without any details or any composition mm. so that would obviously sell see I am saying ki for example carpet jo hai, mm. that is functional more functional yeah. okay. mm. so like design dene mein thoda matlab, zyada cost to aayega efforts bhi zyada aayenge mm-hmm. Okay. Yep. So why do we need that design on the carpets? See, there uh, is like the aesthetical reason we told about, mm-hmm. and the second reason. See, is why about, do we need aesthetical reason? Said it's uh, there is a philosophy in that. Yeah, you need it to please yourself. You like it or you don't. You buy a carpet, you take it to home, and your wife says, "Ye kya kachada lagi hai? It doesn't look good." So. That is bad for her and it might be good for you. Mm. And that decision and, you know, that parameters of beauty rest and create a sort of um, realism. And beauty comes under that. Real. So now we talked about beauty. What about horror art? I say horror art. Horror art. <laughs> Gande art. Just like you said, there is a controversial piece that he used this. I guess pubic hairs to make art. <laughs> <laughs> they have been used. Lots of things. I have seen such stuff. Yeah. They have been. There is so, a whole load of uh, anti works on absurdism. You know. That actually creates a new, you know. So it's not just form. about beauty. In some uh, cases, it is about beauty. In some art forms, it is about beauty. It's also about beauty, but it's about lackness of beauty. You know? Mm. Like absence of beauty. It's beautiful as well, but to a very limited parameter. Okay. If there is some absurdity happening in front of you, still see it. So if there is light, there is dark. If there is yeah. dark, there is light. In even dark, there is a bit of light. Mm-hmm. And if there is a for instance, in downtown, there is a fight happening. Mm-hmm. We would like, let's see what's happening. It's not uh, a happening event. But still, we would be attracted to a bit of happening which might be there. Mm-hmm. So that is how, you know, everything is a yes and everything is a no. Everything is Cheek. beautiful and everything is not beautiful. For some, that horror is more pleasing. Than yeah, for some, for some, like we watch horror films <laughs> and horror theaters, and that can be beautiful. So see, time. we can't put this in a 
we can't put constraints on these things <laughs> like you can put constraints your like subjectivity for me, for me yeah for, as an individual uh, as an I'm individual acha lagta hai mujhe acha nahi lagta yeah but if you uh, like provide you criticism hmm. towards it towards it hmm. you need to be on the two side hmm. on your individual or subjective side okay we'll take a short yeah. break after this uh, after we talk about uh, we'll talk about uh, art critiques so after that we will take a small break okay so we said like it's up to an individual mm-hmm. like what is good what is bad what is interesting what is boring so for example i have to be an art critic mm-hmm. what things do i see how do i critique an art work just critique any way you want ka bekar hai to chal you should now what gives him the authority that you should be that thing critics have no they are not they, they, they are, are and that they are makes ti- them critic they are titled as you are an art critic you know there is was a line between uh, art historian and art critic hmm. but now that <clears> line <throat> rests you know uh, undivided and so you start with history art history and you come to contemporary hmm. from contemporary you come to your space and to the space of the artist like when you pro- think of an artwork Hmm. uh you must think from your side from the historical point of the uh, side of the work then from the artist side will it be better if the critic is himself or herself an artist like what better like would it be better would it be uh, can we give him the authority then okay you are no, an you artist you never give an authority to a critic no, we are giving you certain times when it's up to you know Like I have seen movies, they read the bad <laughs> review and they are like, no, man, yeah. like upset now. He gave me no, two stars and stuff like that. You never give a story to a critic. <laughs> critics, critics. You, I have been a critic. Like I am at the moment a critic for providing some. Like this is a cliche of, scene of an art movie, where the yeah. artist bad review, but then and he's like, no, that is good. Wow. That is all drama, <laughs> you know. <laughs> and it's good. it has changed a lot like it's like critics are like artists are critics. like there are bad critics about some movies but still they are blockbuster mm-hmm. there are bad critics about some artists like movies uh, functions around society hmm on so society is you know understanding and there hmm. you know uh, mass thinking hmm so the critic provided is certain from a single individual or a single institution Mm. and that uh, uh provides an opportunity mm. to think if that uh, that bound of critic can be applicable for your own uh, objectivity okay so you think according to me well we'll take a short break now yeah so let's was this one okay. so we were talking about art mm. criticism and i think thodi baat odudi rahe the and i want to know a bit more about art a bit more or you so know it is a topic like that needs some elaboration we didn't some, talk that much kya kya hai usko urdu mein roshni kya hota hai aur roshni daale aur roshni daale art critics art critics like factors you know ha like when you uh, put criticism hmm can be on or outside hmm you get my point like the one can be like self criticism hmm. which an artist or anybody hmm keeps on providing on regular realism basis hmm then other another can be uh, to uh, to an another uh, piece or to another subject so and then there can be you know can be uh, uh, a division between we can so you uh, are saying we can have set of rules yeah, on not artism. rules but factors factors yeah we can have factors and like there is we were talking about the word a lot formal hmm. you know formal factors formalism and hmm. like these all talks if hmm. i was to put my criticism it's all formal Mm. you know formal then there can be you know talk based on intent mm. you know words based on intent 
like if we talk first about formal uh mm. we uh go around the medium mm. and formal analysis is what you provide or think mm. when you see a piece of work or mm. when you see suppose mm. a flower or suppose a person mm. if i see you mm. i'll first think about your visuals mm. uh what you're wearing what it's made up of okay. like when i see this piece i'll think about the medium like acrylic oils or anything mm. when i see uh, a sculpture i'll think about what uh, the medium is um you know the shape size the formal uh, uh formal forces around it mm. and we tend to think uh, about history mm. like where it sits or where it you know should okay if you were to think about where it should mm. uh, then there can be uh, more formal factors you know about uh, about uh, the process you know how it's made mm. what was the process mm. and here we try to separate the intangible factor and talking about intangible factor we come to intentionalism take you know uh, where you think about uh, the thoughts and uh, mm. you know uh, mm. the uh, work and the artist and their relation mm. uh, you can be you know uh, put it as a, in a connotative way or okay. in a denotative way take you know we can so we can uh, categorize it in this way see yeah, this can be a measure of my i have something uh, i have some thoughts theek hai mm-hmm. so is my craft supporting it okay okay so based on that can there be a criticism for example matlab biopic banti hai ya koi aur cheez theek hai so they are like okay you had an idea about mm-hmm. this things but were you able to present it the way you imagined it Okay. so that presentation from your side would be both formal and intended and presentation hmm. ends hmm. in mass you hmm. know in front of uh, people in front of uh, institutions hmm. and that third factor can be post structural factor hmm. you know where you think about the artworks post reaction or provocation or you know it's uh classification and coming to classification it involves like socio uh, political um uh, you know environment like what Then, it was supposed to do no was supposed what, to do or, or what it is meant to do after being presented in huh. the society huh. so it can like what it is it a work of um, an anti nature or is it a work which has been done or certain acts you know which can lead to iconoclasm okay. so such factors. don't panic gavar mat yaar isko fix kare should we continue or do it again no we can cut it so yeah we were talking about what post structure you know usme wo ho raha hai na kya should we keep rolling or yeah we i think we'll keep rolling okay so that you know how in we'll think about a social context or other you know other institutional context religious context cultural context you know we think about the objectivity and the subjectivity mm. um and then there is you know if we come back to intentionalism you're talking about like mm. your intent mm. you know what you were when you created a work like so we think you will think as a critique see we do progress with some criticism for example uh, if we talk about you said objective things for example there are people there are groups where they post their works and they want criticism mm-hmm. for example uh, in my case if i like draw a figure or some anatomy so i post it in a group where i ask like people who do it better than me theek hai i okay. ask their uh, critiques their criticism Huh. Okay. Where I did it wrong, or where I can improve it. Okay. Okay. So that kind of criticism involves two factors: the formal factors, hmm. where it involves a material process, hmm. and I know what there is wrong with my. Yeah. How can I improve it? Yeah. And uh, so this it is a different be, criticism. You know, criticism 
if we come back to intentionalism which i was saying yeah, people take so, criticism as a negative term <laughs> he is a critique maybe critique karta hai har kisi cheez ko ye no if you critique there is one more thing i'll say is that intentionalism which i always trying to put up in front of you or in front of everybody like where you think about author's intent as well either mm. you would separate it or keep it along mm. you know so that is one of the things and then uh there happened a thing you know it's called uh the intentional fallacy you know where critics said that we shouldn't consider author's intent thus going against conceptualism i get my point and then there was against uh, anti uh, this intentional fallacy uh, which was this you know the extreme fallacy where critics um, created an environment where they termed that it is you know a uh, very important factor mm. to consider artist relation his mm. experience with the work his mm. intention his narration mm. his mm. symbolism mm. you know so that way a uh, certain critical criticism comes mm. like where you have to take decisions on that subjective the subjective topics mm. and you know okay let's talk about self criticism yeah yeah we already put some words on it right? these all factors are again you know See, a variable uh, of it. i know where i did it wrong so i am sort of self critique yeah obviously you are then i ask someone who does it better than me mm-hmm. again i ask for a critique that can be a type for of self criticism as well for the improvisation is yeah. the whole process self criticism yeah, it can be can be self but for him it would be uh, not anti self criticism not you know unlike self criticism <laughs> and for you it's all you know taking in mm-hmm. from uh, you as well from uh, in an individual term see mm-hmm. and from the other person like it's always about self criticism you know i paint i take decision either to put blue pigment or uh, mm. a red uh, hue over the mm. opaque thing or i do glazing or scumbling over the thing mm. or i was to perform i could have added something else in the performance or if i'm creating a an installation i could have done it in a, a different gallery space like they could have in a better lighting so it's all about questioning and that questioning uh, is what self criticism is okay so is intention uh, then uh, what decides or is uh, for example, every factor decides you decides according to the factor if you are getting sort of criticism like uh, this uh, your oil painting is uh, cracking don't you know how to use fat over lean method hmm. so that is criticism based on formal analysis hmm. you know so or physical analysis surely that is a mistake you can't hide that under yeah, formal saying that it's my style yeah. that See, i crit- made it crack see critiques in itself in contemporary criticism well, what if i say i made it crack that is intentionalism this is my, this is my i, I don't you know believe, it's I your personal you know i think there are like some uh, works where they, they do make come up with stories yeah. after they uh, make the work yeah, we covered it actually like post huh. work you think like i painted this thing hmm. and it didn't turn out my way Huh. i performed something and it didn't hmm. turn the way i wanted hmm. and then the creating a post hmm. philosophy over it you know hmm. i thought uh, there were there came more thing you know okay. more thoughts about it in post process okay. suppose i make a similar piece to picasso's cubism matlab waisa hi same intensity suppose one of his paintings i made that mm mm-hmm. theek hai yes but my intention was not to do that am i as great as picasso like your intention is in what terms you know maine bas draw kar liya and it looked like picasso and it looked like picasso or mm-hmm. suppose i made one of uh, the picasso's piece mm-hmm. theek hai that picasso didn't make okay it's a hypothetical situation theek hai yeah. i think you are better than picasso am i <laughs> am i Why as not? great as picasso i said more great how in, i'm saying in this case in this scenario okay. like what you, separates my work from picasso's work what separates is history hmm. you know picasso or is it consistent you know dead picasso what he did to the point theek you know things after picasso and that after is embedded into your subconscious and every work you put in contemporary is 
you know all history all theek all contains history Agri. i agree and every thus works in contemporary is a better work than so is past. it also style and consistency see i don't make such works but i happen to make one of mm-hmm. one piece like that yeah, in a very experimental way you know huh. in a research way huh. experiencing way <laughs> so is consistency important no is like when important? you when you come into contemporary most works you know the modernism you get about. famous okay you yeah. get famous because of your consistency yeah. you know you create a vocabulary you create yeah. a style you create yeah. uh you know a uniqueness you create a personality yeah. in your work yeah. you know you create individualism yeah. you are you are known for this you are known for that can you start with a specific style like you start and uh, huh? catch up like what specific style like there are you know we'll take uh, like first jaise main bura tha aapko realism we start with realism okay in college matlab sikhate hain basic mm-hmm. forms theek hai i start with something i'll call it my style okay. kuch bhi like a uh, aise hi maine like x y z ism by tafazul aise paint uthaya okay. then koi bolega ye kya hai that paint uthaya and kar dena is already you know this is my style yeah that can be a style create hundreds of work on it and there is a guy who paints with his head okay yeah there have been guys painting from all parts of their body <laughs> that's not me so what more so yeah you can just call it if you want if you think it's uh, aesthetically true to you or if you're faking it or if it's then how would someone critique it that's my point then they need to critique it on intention of, uh, yes obviously intention point of view uh, you know the can motive, there be the experience point of view can there be critiques on uh, draftsmanship in that sense because there were artists like mone sizan yeah. they were not can say matlab their uh, i don't know if they were good draftsmen but their uh, Works didn't show good draftsmanship. For that time, they were like, "Yeah, what is this?" Yeah. Even uh, one of yeah, that, Van Gogh's that painting sort would come. You know, that is more. I think obviously intentionalism and in that, <laughs> uh, you know, the physical thing is involved, hmm. like the appearance and what artist thought. Hmm. But the major thing is the yeah, post structure. No one knows. It's still a mystery. Like, how would you know that if he is lying or not? Yeah. Like there are see, like in music like. itself <laughs> evident that he's out of note yeah in dance yeah, yeah. you can say he but he it, didn't it, he skipped it's a done beat. in a very you know forced way you know no, that can galti, be the new usme galti pata right. chal jati hai pata chalti hai that galti can be the sahi <laughs> in painting that these can be these sahi. Uh, sort would come into the you know the structure structural approach the societal mm-hmm. you know um post effect mm. gallery effect Hmm. you know um societal religious cultural um political and um, you know classification obviously it's, it's considered art if you talk about bad. that uh, hard rock they are like screaming okay okay yes yeah. so that is like the screaming part like music was not yeah. supposed to be like that so yeah, that it was supposed to be soothing new and i told you like these <laughs> new forces becomes uh tomorrow's norm you can't say if he's out of you know but still they have some but measures i don't know but they need to have that. uh you know they do have tempo and yeah. all that stuff yeah they just you know but agar kisi matlab jisne suna nahi hoga pehle wo bolega ye kya hai mm-hmm. chilla raha hai so anything else we should talk about we'll take some questions now i had posted a uh, instagram story with my phone it yeah, is my phone I think you took it from me. Yeah, no, it's not this. Here is my phone. Like it's eight, and there eight. were some questions asked. I didn't answer them that time because we were going to include that mm. in the podcast. So I have noted down few questions. Okay. So it it was on Instagram, right? Ah, uh, Instagram. I made a story. I did. Okay. <laughs> is learning how to paint a skill or is it god gifted? <laughs> Earth gifted. <laughs> it's 
uh, it depends on you if you think in a very mystical way it can be god gifted why not if you think uh, in a very uh, in a very rational way there was it's, a, it's there was a girl i don't know her true story if that's true she was just 8 years old and she could paint really well she didn't go to any art school but so these all come you know that god gifted term if you think of it in a very rational way doesn't apply is you know for but, me it's skill no but uh, certain things comes yeah. innately huh. you know with experience like if you interest can be yeah, god gifted if you are, are living in a small cramped room hmm. and you go um, you know for a vacation somewhere and you see mountains and things hmm. beautiful things you might uh, you know take points take notes of those and you know think about it you know you are very sensitive to certain things and uh, your stimulus you know so it can be i am not denying the fact that it yeah. can be so god that in some cases so that you know response to the nature and the environment hmm. creates uh, an arcane can create an arcane of you know innate acquired sensitivity hmm. and that can lead you uh, you know skip certain uh, training Brilliant. and hmm. certain development academically hmm. and you can know bits of things and you can just well, sum there up are people who learn you can know. quite fast like, yeah they and just, there are people who learn fast like they will watch a single video and that's it yeah in your case <laughs> in my case <laughs> okay so it depends uh uh-huh, bilkul depends so next question what is your inspiration and do we need inspiration i think you should answer this one <laughs> or should i i start first i think i am my own inspiration I'm posing the questions <laughs> yeah, i <laughs> love my work i love my vibe i love i just answer i think you should answer it what you like and what not what people like like i would come again back to the criticism part i like i think parts blank and I don't canvas like parts. is the biggest inspiration blank canvas easy bro what that's, about that's blank that's why maine yahan rakha tha what about blank body what about blank stage what about raw clay see when i talked about that painting which sold for 15 million the story behind that was this is the most scariest thing a black canvas when mm-hmm. there is nothing on it you <laughs> crave to draw something or maybe it's the most beautiful thing Yeah. like make it nothing on top of it you have to be if you want to be good you have to be naked you have to put yourself out there yeah raw raw you have yeah. to be raw you can't hide that so i think that's what motivates us and mm-hmm. that's where we get our inspiration from now the thing is do we need inspiration to draw of course we need yeah you can ins- be inspired from surroundings an artist an artist and artworks Mm-hmm. and society culture religion like every factor from my sweater you can be inspired like <laughs> i mean i was inspired by this sweater that is why i wore this one and you know so that is how imitation comes in part you know we imitate we are meant to imitate we mm-hmm. have been imitating and we will continue to and that okay. imitation makes new you know? i'll take this last question now yeah how can we get started Can you suggest some books or lectures? <laughs> How can you they start like in like I want to get into painting, painting drawing. This is for drawing cuz okay, this, this is, is not for just pick up a pencil and you start and learn online like the basics, the material tools, learn the formal side, mm-hmm. then move on to the intent side of course and then think about the post structure it is posed in the question that i yeah. need books and lectures okay books and lectures i i personally don't know any strong books like you okay. must be knowing okay for me books. the book uh, that got me started was drawing from the left side of your brain yeah this is i i have heard like it's really common you know it's a very good book it's a good book i've heard from people who it draw. is a bit scientific uh, mm-hmm. he talks about the scientific thing which i really don't agree with that much but it works you don't have to believe in it to make it work 
यू कैन नॉट बिलीव इन इट स्टिल इट विल वर्क ठीक है बिलीव इन एंड अबाउट लेक्चर्स जस्ट वॉच डॉक्यूमेंट्रीज documentaries you want to learn the craft of okay, craft you can watch uh, you can go to online lessons and you know if you want to learn drawing okay. there are lots of free resources now yeah if you want to go into figures mm-hmm. figure drawing uh, animation anatomy i would suggest to start with proko and there are related artists okay, so proko the guy on YouTube yeah he has like a series of uh, lectures on human anatomy okay figure study yeah, and human stuff. anatomy and then there is yeah. this artist anatomy where yeah. he must be teaching yeah. the necessity for uh uh drafters to drafters draw and animators and, yeah. uh, and prospective as well and if you want to kuch paise kharch karne agar aapko to you can go for oh. new masters academy mm-hmm. they have like good lectures acha mm-hmm. artist bhi hai if you want to for that you can go and what got me started in oil painting that you suggested mm-hmm. was draw mix yeah, paint yeah he tells you a lot about you know oh, color mixing and like theory how to make an easel yeah. how to yeah, stretch a canvas his, this is his ha na ye uska design blueprint so <laughs> yeah you can just research but uh, be uh, confined don't just watch how you can paint good in 3 minutes that that doesn't work <laughs> how you can paint so you have to do some research what you need what you don't don't watch each and everything so like you can filter many things out and try to watch like a series like series of lectures don't you just be spontaneous continuous be consistent you don't want to watch... learn a skill and uh, don't become... watch one video then jump to a different artist yeah. or different instructor just be consistent we have lots of resources online if you want to bahut hai but we have to filter them out yeah. that's the, that's the biggest challenge biggest part of learning uh, mm-hmm. online yeah. so i think we'll just end this podcast guys ab mera muh suk raha hai baatein karte karte bahut time se hum baatein nahi ki hai i'll bring you some water yeah that's it